thanks for taking the time. Uh, went to the Nutty Comb Invitational, arguably one of the best before the national championships. With lots of good teams there, and the men did quite well, finishing fourth. Yeah, they had a very nice run. We grouped up really well, uh, one through seven. Uh, did did really well. We uh, we were pretty pleased with how the event went, um, but you also want to use that in preparation. So you you go into an event like that where there are a lot of competitive bodies. It's a good dress rehearsal just to stay relaxed while you're in kind of a tense environment, which replicates the national championships really well. Uh, but it also is kind of your last big uh, check of the regular season before you go into your championship season. So any adjustments you want to make, kind of sorting out your rosters for the championship season and just continuing in your progression throughout the season. So it serves a lot of purposes, but it went pretty well, and we look forward to building on that momentum. And on the men's side, I think the top five guys finished really close within the top 25, I think, or top 40. Uh, top 40. Top 40, and Sam Gilman, uh, you know, top 10. So are you liking what you see from them? Yeah, I think they, they're continuing to uh, kind of round into form. And the first event we went to, we were trying to get some very specific things out of that. Um, you know, it's your start of the season. We were able to, to accomplish that. But then you want to say, okay, what adjustments do we need to make to be better going down the road? We made some of those adjustments. We had some positive results from that at Wisconsin. We want to continue to make some of those adjustments going into our championship season and hopefully continue to have better outcomes. And the ladies' side at the Nutty Comb, not too shabby either, really. No, they competed well. Um, our, our two sophomores up front did a great job. Again, they were a little ambitious in our first big meet of the year. And, and again, that's something that you um, can admire and appreciate because they want to be good. And usually the good people are up near the front. So they, they overdid it a little bit in our first meet. We kind of pulled back a little bit and ran a little more patiently over the initial stages of the race at Wisconsin. They were rewarded for that, finishing 20 and 21 in a highly competitive field that was really strong uh, a really strong showing for that pair uh, and then you know we also had some people have some very good runs in our depth scoring positions uh, there are some areas that we're, we're confident can improve uh, overall as a team but uh, I think we were the top finishing uh, unranked team uh, in the field I think there were 26 or 24 teams ranked we were 23 um, so we're, we're starting to get to where we want to be but uh, again you you want to say, okay, that was a pretty good weekend, but every weekend moving forward that you have a race, you want to say the same thing. Yeah. So uh, that was a nice step, but hopefully we're not done yet. And I think depth, uh, you know, you, the Trojan invites and some other runners there did well because you, you finish on top in both races. But let's talk a little bit about the depth of your team and what you want to see over the next couple of weeks because it's getting down to it and the conference is right around the corner. Well, it's part of the, uh, I think, the misperception of our sport is it's not a team sport. And, and I strongly disagree with that. Uh, you know, you have to have that depth and that interchangeability as well as that interdependence uh, among your, your runners that they know that there are going to be people there to help them through, uh, through their races, through their training, through their season. And so having um, strong depth really enables you to have some interchangeability because somebody's going to have a soreness, a sickness, a challenge, whatever it may be. Uh, and I think that depth really helps you continue to be a high-level team. But you also want to see each individual perform well. So it's not just, hey, you know, we have 20 people, and as long as five of them are doing well, uh, that diminishes the experience that um, each particular runner has. And so you want each person to feel like they're progressing and they're contributing, and, and that's something that I, I feel like our group does uh, very well. So that, that depth is, is really key to us. Perfect. Ryan Cole, thank you for the time. Appreciate it.